sleep. Sunrise is pretty cool though. I did not sleep near enough last night. Oh man. Anyway, let me fill you in as what we're doing today. So, right over that humongous mountain right there that's like almost 7,000 feet, um, there is a lake called Goat Lake. And the lake is like blue and surrounded by red cliffs all around. At least that's what Google Maps kind of shows. I'm, up, I'm going up to a map here, I'll show you what it looks like. But the problem is, it is like, Mm, seven kilometers round trip, something like that. Um, oh yeah, so you, you can see it. We're right here. This is the trail, zerps along here. And this is Goat Lake. And then it originally just goes all the way back to this lake back here, which is still pretty cool. But we wanna go to this lake. As you can see, there's no trail going to it. Um, so we're just gonna have to bushwhack this entire way. Um, and it's gonna be rough. Uh, yeah, <laughs> elevation change. Yeah, it's crazy. But if this doesn't work, we're just gonna go back to this lake and it'll still be awesome. I'm super pumped about it though, because this is something that we wanted to do last time we came here, but we would have wasted, we would have wasted pretty much the entire day. Um, and since this is our last day, well not our officially last day, but our last like touristy day in uh, Canada, actually no, like staying here with Reese, I guess. Um, yeah, feels fitting to take it out with a bang, you know? It's gonna be crazy intense though. So unfortunately some of the best days have drawbacks. The drawback for today was that because this terrain was so unbelievably rough um, and crazy steep, um, it was physically impossible for me to record. Uh, just like you remember on, on the second day in Canada when we hiked Mount Chief, it was so crazy rugged that I couldn't even record most of it, which makes me really sad. But instead of leaving the whole day out, I figured I'd at least tell you guys kind of what happened. So instead of going up the little ravine through that creek that I showed you on the map, we actually decided to bushwhack just straight up the side of the mountain. Not our brightest move, granted. We looked up and we saw like a little chute that was coming down from the mountain. And the way we were standing, the it looked like when you got to the top of that chute that you were at the top of the mountain which was not true at all. <laughs> um, and so we just decided to go shooting straight up it. The mountain just got steeper and steeper. And in some of these photos, you can actually see, I'm holding the camera straight up and down. And the, what we're standing on is at least a 45 degree angle. And this stuff is complete shale. It, like you step on it and it just crumbles beneath you. It's really sketchy. We proceeded to go up that chute. And when we got to the top of it, we realized that we were only like a fifth of the way up the mountain. Problem was that at that point, it was so steep, I'm pretty confident that we couldn't have even made it back down. The reason being is it was so shaly and just absolutely, it was so fragile that once you would start sliding, there's no way you could stop. Um, and I was afraid that going down, we would slip or something and then you just, you would go, there'd be no stopping. Um, so because of that, we decided that we just had to keep going up, which is what we were planning on doing anyway. Here's a picture of one of the chutes that I was talking about. And this, this isn't the exact one, that, but this is about as steep as, as the one we went up. You can see it's incredibly rugged. Um, and in multiple locations, we were like having to brace our hands and legs against either, either side and like push ourselves up. It was, it was absolutely crazy. And Weston got kind of separated from the group, um, which was really sketchy. Like this whole thing was sketchy, but then you hear like rocks and stuff falling where he was from. So you never knew like, did he like go down the side of the mountain or like what's going on? But definitely the sketchiest part was when we were going up the last little bit of that chute. Like we're like bracing against the walls and it was myself and then it was Reese about 20 feet above me and then it was his brother Theron, which was about 25 or 30 feet above Reese. And Theron accidentally loosed a rock, probably about the size of his head or maybe a little bit smaller. 
um, that came flying down the chute towards us. And luckily Reese saw it coming and was able to kind of pull out of the way. I believe it still hit him like in the hand and in the ribs um, and then flew like right over my shoulder. It was it was absolutely crazy. Like if that would have hit us, like there would have been no stopping. Like it, we would have just plummeted down the, down the side of the mountain. And then finally we got up to the top, which was absolutely fantastic and unbelievably windy. <laughs> I was kind of afraid we were gonna get blown off the edge for a while. We could sort of see the lake from where we were at and it was beautiful. We continued to go around the lake on top of the ridge and then basically just rock climbed up from there. It would have been impossible to get to the highest point, which is almost another thousand feet, believe it or not, but it was still absolutely incredible. It was covered with red rocks all the way around and like blue lake in the middle it was just absolutely gorgeous i recorded a few things up there i'm not 100 percent sure what happened but they are nowhere to be found so i'm not sure if i never hit record or what happened so i was kind of debating whether or not to make this video even or not but then i was like like no like i'm making these videos for me for my documentation so like even if it's not that great of a video it's still good to me because it's amazing for me to have this record it was by far one of the most amazing days ever but then we had a slight problem because if you remember that the way we came up was way too dangerous to go back down um and so we had to figure out another way down here's a picture we're at the top looking down you can actually see the parking lot all the way down there so we decided to just make a break for it and just shoot straight right down for the parking lot bushwhacking the entire way it was unbelievably stupid but it was about the only option we had we went through like forest fires and some weird twisted up trees and stuff and the last like quarter mile was the most insane because right before the parking lot what it drops like almost 100 feet straight down to the parking lot so even when we got close we couldn't even get down to where the parking lot was so eventually we just had to basically rock climb the whole way down the this steep cliff and just like clinging on to all the bushes and everything so we wouldn't fall down. It was the most intense day like ever. It was amazing though. And then we went back to the parking lot, sat in the van and ate tons and tons of sushi and chocolate chip cookies, which was just whew, so good. So again, I'm really sorry that I wasn't able to record more of that for you, um, but I at least wanted to tell you at least like what happened because it was by far one of the best days ever. That being said, I will see you in the next video.